Hello and welcome to another DDJ Alpha for full gaming video. Um, I'm today reviewing this Thrustmaster Universal Challenge wheel and pedal for PC, PS3, Xbox, PS2, and Wii. I believe that's all the consoles you can use this on. Um, I must say it's a very good wheel for its price. Um, definitely the pedals are very responsive. The steering wheel is also very responsive. And it is a very good wheel, in fact. I used it a lot until it sort of broke away, because you need a clamp to stand on the table, which I'll show you now. You need this thing here. This thing here will clamp it on the table or surface that you want it on so it won't move. All of this is included in the price, which I believe when I got it was about £25, which isn't bad. Something like $29, $30. But it's not bad. The D pad is the general. You might have to read the manual because I believe that's L2 and R2, the buttons above. And those two are the L1 and L1. So yeah, they're the thumbstick, sorry. Um, make sure that um, you comment if you want to see any other reviews. I'll quickly... Um, show you my game list. Uh, put this down here for now. Because I can do reviews of games if you want. Be reviewed pretty quickly. Um over there. Over here. Okay. Right about there which you can't see is Avatar the game with Beijing two thousand eight. Dirt two Quad four, five, six, and eight. One twenty eleven. FIFA Street three. FIFA eight. FIFA nine. FIFA ten. Twenty ten World Cup South Africa. Eleven and twelve. Gran Turismo. Harry Potter. and Arthur Prince. Killzone. Midnight Club. Need for Speed. Hot Shoot. And Shift two. Along with Shift. The original. Prince of Persia. Pure Football. Disney Fights. The Caribbean. It was end. Racket Sports. Spider Man, um, Star Wars The Force on each Top Spin 4, Virtual Tennis 2009, WSC Real 09, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Pro Evo 2011. Now, sorry about that, back to the wheel now. Um, so this wheel isn't the biggest wheel, but it's definitely worth it for the casual gamers out there. As I said before, the pedals are definitely very good got enough resistance so you won't just put your foot down. I'll show you them. Because you can put your foot down on them pretty easy and it doesn't actually hurt that much with this. Slightly slooping. As you can see there, it slightly slopes. So it's very comfy to use. The pros are, it's very easily connectable. I could basically connect it to my PS3 right now quickly. Um, if I come over here, you basically get this USB and plug it into the spare USB port, which for me, having a PS3 slim isn't there. It's really dark there, so you won't see it. Maybe I'll Frostmaster. You can probably pick it up for something like 20 quid now. It's also pretty responsive, which helps. And you can edit the controls so it... Um, Perfectly set up, so the gears are the gears, the pedals are the pedals. So overall, the quality is very good in this. We've, our family has had it for like, what is it now, three years? Yeah, three years. And, um, it still survived with barely any scratches. So that's pretty good. Um, durability is definitely good. Connectivity is good, because it can connect to loads of consoles. I believe it can connect to the Xbox, I'm not really sure, I have to check that. But, um, 
yeah, it's a very good wheel for the price. So I'd give it an 8 out of 10 because there are more responsive, probably better simulation wheels, but this is a good wheel for the casual gamer. Thank you for watching and be sure to comment, rate, subscribe and I'll be hopefully uploading a lot of videos pretty soon. The DJ Channel 544 out.